Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Luna Faye, and today we're playing Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Keep in mind, this is still an early access game, but with that, let's get playing. Okay, so I did do a few things. I was playing quite a bit over the weekend. Um, I unlocked this backpack, so I put this outfit on because I thought it was cute. <laughs> Um, so I did play quite a bit. Um, I was working mostly on this. So just these, like, talk to the speedy princess, which is Vanellope, mine, just these little things. I was working on that and the dream light. So I got some points that we can use to unlock some doors. Um, and I did a few things. So I move stuff around i put that stuff up there which we'll go see in a second i was working on down here our garden area so i made some pathing uh, i didn't have enough stone to make all the pathing but i started it so i got these little memories everywhere too i didn't do i don't think i did anything out over there here let me show you we'll just zoom out this will be easier. So I worked, was working on this. I needed more stone to make more pathing, so I kind of, I did what I could. And then a little bit there and a little bit there. Um, I don't think... Yeah, I didn't do anything over here or over there. I didn't do anything over there. Um, we just need to be able to, like, get rid of these mushrooms and the, uh these little stumps so I started working on this area but then like these stumps are all in the way and I think when I make these different like areas I'm gonna leave them as part oh there's a sock right there I anyways I'm gonna leave them part of the like like uh, part of our town because I like it um I started putting all the castles up here because I kind of want to make this area like ritzy and glamorous kind of like high-end kind of area so I put that skin down. That's not our house. Our house is still still over there. That's why we came out of there. Um, then, yeah, I didn't do anything up here. Um, I'm, yeah, like I said, I want to make these, like, this, like, the high-end castle area with the shops and the, like, nice restaurant. This I want to make, like, a little, like, town. I don't know how many other houses there's going to be, so I just kind of left these where they were um this area i want to make like you know i don't know more fun like you know i put her house over here because it seems to fit this this area and then again i need to get rid of all these little things so we need to like unlock more stuff um and then this area i put vanellope's house up here because i kind of want like i know it's supposed to be like spooky and i know we ha oh, we do have that i don't really want to take that down either I was thinking about making this like a Candyland kind of area, but maybe I'll move that. I don't know. Um, I did do this once or twice, so we have a little bit of money. I tried to get Scrooge's shops every day. Hmm, I really don't want to break this down. Maybe I will make this area a little more spooky. I don't know. Maybe I'll be like spooky slash candy. I don't know. We'll see. I just I need to get rid of all this stuff. So we need to unlock more more quests and things. But I think our village our like valley is coming along. Starting to look pretty cool. Put that little area over there. But yeah. So I was um I'm not gonna show my, my dream snap picture. Maybe I will. You guys wanna see it? I did take it. So I just reused one of one of our other areas we did for um, one of the other challenges, but then I did. Oh yeah, actually before that, um, I was doing these rewards. So I got all these collected, and I was working on this area. So I got like these all collected, and I just need those two. And this one I didn't do anything in this one yet because I was still working on this. But yeah, so we got that. Um, that's where we got the backpack. And we got this. And I was like, ooh, I want to make like... I was thinking maybe... Oops. Over... In this area. Like, ooh, there's our chest. Like this beachy area, especially by the port. Maybe making this like a pirate themed kind of area. Because we've got that there. Um... 
I don't know. Maybe I'll make this. Maybe I'll make both this whole area kind of like high ready themed. I'll have to move Ursula's house somewhere else. She's fine there for right now, but eventually, yeah, I want to make that kind of like a piratey kind of themed. I'm gonna grab this really quick. So I didn't, I didn't talk to anybody. Um. Oh, I did actually. I did talk to Maribel, but it was just to get her. Um, because I needed for the, what is this called? This star path or whatever. I needed to talk to her for some quests. So I had to kind of move her along in her mission. I didn't, it wasn't that important because I just changed off like our wallpaper and stuff in the house. And then she wanted to talk to me about it. Now she wants to meet us in our house to like go over what, what we changed and stuff. But so it didn't. I didn't really go that far into her quest. For Scar's quest, I do have what I need to turn that in. Just have to grab it. Actually, we might need to build more fabric, but otherwise, we we do kind of have it all. Let's see. I wanted citrine. Iron fiber fabric. What's in here? Iron fiber yeah i think we need to make the fabric so these i did like flowers yellow orange and red in this box and then in here i've got this one has got more flowers blue green purple pink and then this one i did white and black flowers i know it's a fridge but it's the only storage i had um, yeah, we just got these, like, memory core orbs everywhere. Monster Zinc. We don't have a crafting station in here, so we'll just pop outside, and there's Goofies right here. We can make those fabrics. You just need a four. Then that's good. A lot of the quests I got ready. Ooh, that's cool. Ah, snowman. Ooh, that's cool. Let's get a crow. Ooh, Christmas tree. Nice. Okay, right, so we have all the bring materials to Mother Gotho. Okay. Uh, let's go check Scrooge's shop really quick. I don't know exactly what I want to do in all the different areas, but like a lot of it I couldn't do just because of these things that we can't get rid of. Ooh, I see everybody has this. Hello. That's pretty. I like that. Whoa, whoa. Little mermaid. Oh yeah, I've seen that Thank in you, Ursula's friendly. like cave. Hello. That's cool. <laughs> ah, the sun's shining almost as bright as my money. Scrooge's shop's got some good <laughs> stuff. And basic chair. Thank you kindly. We have that. We have that. Ooh. Don't have that. Uh-huh. That's pretty. This stuff. Ooh, there's a new hair over there. Remember, time is money. Huh? I hope there's no a leak in my money bin. Huh? Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh-huh. Make it, Ralph. That's cool. Whoa! <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> 
Let's see, we got that. Oh my god. Scrooge's shop had all the good stuff today. Bye bye. Yes, I've wanted that. I see that in other uh -huh. YouTubers' towns. It looks so cool. Whoa! <laughs> yes. All right. We got everything in here. We found our ch our chest. Wait, I did pull out the pirate word because we had it, so why not? <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. We need to turn into Mother Gothel. Where is she? Boy, here, take this. Make our coat. Oh, hello, dear. Oh, there you are. And you have everything I asked for. Even the pair of citrines. Those are for my jewelry box. You're a gem, Luna. Wait, you didn't need the gems? They're just for your jewelry box? You tricked me. You could have just asked. Oh well, hope you like them. You could have just asked. <laughs> Consider it payment for my services. And that be a lesson to you, Luna. Nothing is free. And here's your coat as promised. Best of luck with that insufferable animal. Ooh. You know what Are that means? Time for an outfit <laughs> change. <laughs> All right, so we got to wear the coat. Let's see what goes with the coat. Shirt. Mm, nah. Shorts. Any pants? Hmm, let's see. Kind of like the shorts. And then a shirt. That's not bad. And then the boots. My boots. Boots? Not that you can see them. I'm so dark. Boots? Ah, boots. Ooh. Is that else? Oh. oh. And I'm keeping the Halloween backpack on. <laughs> and hat. Let's see. All right. <laughs> um. Another power. Monster horns. Let's go with it. There we go. Nice. All right. Where is Scar? Oh, Ursula. You're here. Oh, it's you, Angelfish. Um, I don't know which one she actually needs. So, secrets and schemes. Ursula, I saw you speaking to Mother Gothel. Oh, I did? No. Oh, you've been spying on me, have you? I wouldn't have dreamed you'd stoop as low as that windbag wizard. I'll bet he put you up to this, didn't he? 
Merlin asked me to see what you and Mother Gothel are scheming about. I know you're up to no good. I'm just trying to prove him wrong. He might be acting a little bit of a nosy body. Um, prove him wrong. Mm. It's hopeless, Angelfish. The blathering fools made up his mind. All I was doing was lending a bit of help to a neighbor. Mother Gothel needed something to keep her house fresh of pests. So I offered her a little tinkager to take care of the problem. But I'm afraid it's impossible to rid, get rid of the real pests around here like that bombastic goody two-shoes Merlin. I'm not buying it. I guess we should have shouldn't have judged you. So you and Mother Gothel are friends? Oh. Friends? Well, I suppose I don't find her company all that terrible. So yes, you might say we are. Ugh, it's getting so someone can't even socialize around here without being accused of nefarious schemes. Can you imagine? Be it, dear Luna. Tell that pompous prig to leave us be, would you? I'll tell him to leave you alone. I'll think about it. Not a chance. I'll be watching you. I'll tell him to leave you alone. Thanks, Angelfish. Trust me. It's for his own good. No. If Merlin keeps bothering me, someone might slip something into his tea that turns him into a toadstool. Entirely by accident, of course. <laughs> Goodbye, dear. Or you wander off. Hello. Now see, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Even a warthog could have done it. Uh. I suppose I should tell you the reason for my foul mood. It's simple. I'm famished. There's scarcely any prey for me to eat in this village. Of course, I did see one of your plump, feathery neighbors about. But I presume you'd mind if I feasted on one of them? Yes, I'd mind a lot. <laughs> Well, I mind starving, Luna. A solution must be found quickly. I'm sure we'll find something. You could eat fish. Cats love fish. What about plants? How about fish? Perhaps your little kitty cats do, but I'm would need a fish meal fit for a lion. I'm famished. Okay, okay. I think Remy's our best bet. The rat. That's barely an appetizer. But if I've no choice, no, no. I meant we could get Remy to help make you some food. Uh. Ugh, I remember the nauseating meals he made back before the forgetting. I hope for his sake he he's improved. I'm not above eating a rodent if I have to. I'll go talk to Remy. You just stay here and don't eat anybody. Come along now, and remember. Oh yeah, we have her thing. Here you go, Ursula. Uh huh. Excellent. I can finally start making contracts again. You've certainly turned out to be quite the little helper. Now it's my turn. Here's a gift. These are rare fish I found while you were out roaming the land on those little feet. Consider this my end of the bargain and come back soon. I may need you again. Shrimp. Tuna. Those aren't really that rare. Uh, let's grab these. Little Mermaid. Oh, we just watched the live action Little Mermaid last night. Oh my gosh, it's really good. I really liked it. The only part I didn't like, uh, I have no idea. Tangled maybe? Oh, Rick it Ralph. Uh, the only part I didn't like was a bird talking to her underwater. Like, a bird's not gonna talk to you underwater. Oh, Little Mermaid again. So yeah, only that part bugged me, but the rest of it I really liked. And Little Mermaid was my favorite Disney growing up. Oh, we still need to do this. Um, This is part of our there star path are. to give everybody a sugar rush. I couldn't talk to anybody else to finish it the other day because mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they all had quests. <laughs> there you go. You can have this too. Have some candy. Oh, we haven't even gotten her to level two. <laughs> Hello, dear. 
Okay. We need to talk to Remy. Let's see. Oh, I found this while I was looking around. Let's do let's do that. Uh this one. It was up here. And it was right there. I didn't actually come in, so I don't know what we're looking for. Oh, probably that. Really like it. Let's follow. Talk to Olaf. Olaf. We needed to talk to Olaf anyways, because um, he's we're supposed to meet him over at the bridge or something in the sunlit plateau little box box the sparkling snow up here is beautiful but fur is so cold i better remember to bring a warm coat hat and mittens next time i go exploring all right where's oh oh he's just right down here oh we can't get to him <laughs> that's one thing that's bad about putting these houses over here is these guys are just like stuck over here now <laughs> Olaf hi it's me Olaf Luna I'm so glad you're here I don't want to alarm you but I've noticed that the Village seems to be er, broken. <gasps> the sky looks angry. Unfortunately, my arms aren't long enough to give it a hug. <laughs> I was hoping you could help me with that. <laughs> me? Oh, I love to help. Hmm. Wait, how am I supposed to help? I found a blanket in the secret chamber. I think it used to belong to the Forgotten. <laughs> Do you know anything about it? No. The f fuzzy, cuddly blanket. You found it. Hooray. But I don't know too much about it. Oh, but I do know who might. Elsa. I remember it from her room at the castle. Of course, she doesn't get cold, but I think she just likes being cozy sometimes. Elsa. So I'd need her to learn the story behind this blanket. Um. Yep, but she went back to Ar Arendelle during the forgetting. Oh, maybe you could find her behind one of the doors in the in the dream castle. I actually was planning on opening their door next. I'd be so happy if Elsa was here. Thanks, Olaf. I'll have to bring Elsa back to the village if we're to have any hope of stopping the forgotten. And in the meantime, I'll just find and categorize all the different kinds of rocks in the village. Great plan. I thought so. I'm calling it controlling what I can when things feel out of control. I want to also grab Kristoff's mission. Kristoff. Hey, there um, you are. could you help me? Oh, hey, Luna, do you have a minute? Always for my friends. Thanks. Glad you think of me as a friend, because this is a little odd. Ah. So, um, while Donald was on the other side of that dark portal, I was living in the woods for a pretty long time. Were you okay out there? How did you survive by yourself? Why didn't you come back to the village? Were you okay out there? Oh yeah, sure. I know how to live in the forest. I can find anything I need, food and shelter-wise, hmm. but... After all that time out there, I could really use some soap. <laughs> Donald said I didn't exactly smell very fresh. Actually, he wasn't very he wasn't that polite. Would you be up for helping me make some soap? I'm always happy to help. Great, thanks. You know, you kind of remind me of someone, but I can't exactly remember who she was. Strange. Oh. Well, to make soap, Luna, we will need lye. Now, I don't 
want to scare you, but it's kind of complicated to make. <laughs> you might want to take notes. For lie, we need ashes. I've never found that in the village. Don't worry, I know what to do. Back when I was stuck in the forest, I made a campfire near the entrance to the Frosted Heights. If you could get some of the burned logs there, you can grind them into ashes at the crafting station. Then I'll bring you the ashes. <laughs> no, there's one more step, Luna. After that, you boil the ashes like any other meal to make lye. Once you've got that, come see me and we can talk about what to do next. Okay, got it. Great. I'll figure out what else we need while you make the lie. Remember, my camp was near the entrance to the Frosted Heights in the forest. Bye. Okie dokie. First, we need to move this back over here so we can get out. <laughs> uh, let's just park there. Oh yeah, the sock. That was in here before. <laughs> uh, Donald, I want to get Stitch. Where is Donald in his house? I am trying to not clear off too many night shades because we need that for a lot of like the missions. The dream dream duties. Oh, there's a note there. And the star path. Hey Luna, will you help me settle an argument with Goofy and prove that I'm right? What's the argument about? Goofy says he once caught a catfish in a lake. But there aren't any catfish in lakes. Goofy doesn't know what he's talking about. Goofy is like the best fisherman in the town. Goofy's kind of goofy, but he's knowledgeable about a lot of things. He doesn't know as much as you, that's for sure. No. No, no. No, no, Donald. We don't like you. <laughs> I don't know about that. But if he thinks catfish live in lakes, he definitely doesn't know anything about fish. Everyone knows catfish are from the ocean. No, you're wrong. I think catfish are from lakes. Catfish are native to the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, they're they're freshwater fish, dude. What? Her? Now I have to prove you and Goofy wrong. We're going to the ocean to catch some catfish, and you better look like a real fisher person. If we catch a real catfish, it'll splash all over. You don't want to get wet. Here, put these, put these waders on. You, bro, I found a sock. Good to see you. Um, what am I supposed to do? Built to destroy. What should I do? Oh, I thought the sock was for Donald. Um, what does the sock say? Knitted orange sock. You wonder who this sock could possibly belong to. It looks like someone knitted on it with a lot of love and care. Someone knitted it with a lot of love and care. Um, I don't know who that belongs to. I don't know. Let's see. What is this? Donald is an explorer at heart. Once a sailor, always a... Sometimes I worry he'll venture too far and get into trouble. But I suppose if he does, 
I'll have to go and find him. I have the sock, Donald. The fishing gear on. Okay. I've never seen a sock look like that. Oh, okay. I've never seen a sock look like that before. So I'll have to ask somebody else about it. Okay. Is that this one? Oh. Okay, let's do that. Oh my god, look at all the quests. <laughs> um, actually, since they're right here, I want to do this really quick. Ariel! Hi! Someone's here. Oh, I've been stuck here alone for so long, I thought I'd never see anyone again. Can you help me, please? I'll help you. What happened? Mm -hmm. I was living in a beautiful valley and it was the most wonderful place. Oh. Until something called the Forgotten happened. Oh. Night thorns started growing in the village and lots of people lost their memories. It was awful. Oh. But then, all of a sudden, I was here as if by magic. Oh. I haven't seen anyone in such a long time. I tried to go back to the valley, but I couldn't find my way home. I come from that valley. I'll help you. <sighs> oh, thank you. I've been trying to get home, but no matter which way I swim, I just end up right back on this island. Must be some kind of magic. <sighs> I think it's an enchantment. If I could just sense the valley, then I'd know which way to swim. Where oh. people can always find their way home. But it doesn't even feel like the valley is my home anymore. Maybe if I made a place for you, just for you in the valley, somewhere that feels like home, then you could sense it. That's perfect. Could it be in the water just off the beach? Then I know I'll be able to swim home. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Ariel, and you... You seem familiar. Have we met before? I think we have, but that was a long time ago. I'm Luna, the ruler of Dreamlight Valley. Or at least, I used to be. Oh. You are? Oh, you're so grown up now. I can't believe you're back and you're helping me. I'm happy to help. I'll get that home ready for you as soon as I can. Thank you. Who? Treasure box! Money. There is a secret thing for our... Can I get that? Nope. Um... Blue pumpkin here. Er, p potato. Not pumpkin. Blue potato here. Don't remember exactly. Yeah, it's one of those hidden pathways. Leads to a blue starfish. There we go. Okay, let's go build Ariel's home. Oh, there's a seaweed there. Yeah, whatever. Ooh, her house is so pretty. Should we put her right next to <laughs> Ursula? No, let's put her over here. Uh, oh, there's good. Let's go build it. How much is this gonna cost us? It's funny, like, this beach doesn't usually get stuff, like, on it, but all along the shoreline. It gets a mess of stuff. To you. Trust me, this is a prime real estate. Certainly worth the investment. 
5,000? Oh, that's not bad. Great, Scott. It's perfect. My work here is done. Hey! Welcome, Ariel. <laughs> She's in the well. <laughs> Ariel. Oh, take a picture. Sweet. Where'd she go? She go down to her house? No. Oh, she's up there. Just swam off before I could talk to her. Ariel, don't talk to her. Oh my god, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Ariel! Hi! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be back. I can't wait to see Eric. Where is he? I have no idea. You don't remember? Who's Eric? I have no oh. idea. You haven't seen him? Oh no, that can't be good. I've got to ask everyone if they know where he went. Thanks for your help, Luna. Isn't it fantastic? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See her so away. Uh, Merlin, you're one of the people we need to talk to. Merlin! Well, hello! Yeah, I remember that the well is a great source of power. Complete schemes. Well, Luna, have you uncovered what Ursula and Mother Gotha are scheming about? How curious! Those are ingredients and vials they're trading. They must be potions, but for what? Ursula told me it was just something to get rid of pests in the Great Willow. <laughs> ha! I found that... I find that most unlikely. She and Mother Gotha... They just seem to be friends. Friends? Boulder Dash. I don't buy it for a second. Ursula doesn't have friends. Just people she can use. Maybe it's not our business. We should leave her alone for now. You're right. I don't trust her. We should leave her alone for now. Oh, come now. We can hardly trust Ursula's Listen word. Closely. Uh, but in the absence of proof, if you insist that there's no scheming going on... I'll leave them be for now. I only hope we don't regret this. Now then, I've concocted a little something to thank you for your help. Here, a bit of dream light ought to compensate you for your trouble. Figitus, figitus. Figitus, figitus. Nice. <laughs> Merlin, don't run off. It says there's... Oh. Is that your sock? Well, hello. Well now, what do you have there, Luna? <laughs> Goodness gracious, my sock! I've been looking for this everywhere. Oh, hey. <laughs> A dark age. A dear indeed. friend conjured these for me long ago. They're my most cherished pair. When I hold them close, well, I can almost remember her face. Confound it all. Wait a moment. It looks like this sock has been a bit slobbered upon. Sorry about that. Wasn't me. It's space alien slobber. <laughs> Space alien, you say? Hmm. There's someone going around stealing everybody's socks and dropping dropping it everywhere. You might have heard Donald talk about it. Hmm, yes, I have heard him going on about extraterrestrials of some sort. But we have enough magical muddles around here without worrying about that. So do you think Donald's quacking up the wrong tree? Or have you noticed... Anything else going on? Missing. How strange. Now that you mention it, somebody has been pilfering books oh, and causing a you. great commotion in the Dreamlight Library. Hmm, maybe I can find a clue in there. Oh, Maribel? 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 So glad you're here. Amazing! Luna, this house shows that you don't always need actual magic to make magic happen. Both of our houses are looking... So much better. I'd say that's pretty impressive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now that Mini Casita is fixed, I really want to make myself useful by helping you help the other villagers. 
but that's what La Familia Medrial is all about, helping the community. I'll be your eyes and ears around here and let you know if anyone needs help. See you soon, Luna, and thanks again for your help with Mini Casita. Gracias. Yep. Okay, let's go over to Merlin's house. Ooh, so much to do. He has a quest. Hello. Ochness monster, I'm furious. Listen to this. Some shifty octopus woman is making dodgy deals with my potential clients. Oh. Now, if I know octopus, and I don't really, she'll be hiding by the water. Ah. Would you go keep an eye on her? I cannot abide busters of any of any kind. Sounds bad, but I can help as long as it's not appropriate espionage. Sorry, I don't, oh yeah, she'll help. That's the spirit. We'll expose the fiend or my name isn't Scrooge McDuck. Here's the plan. You go ask her for a catfish. They're very common in the village waters. Then we'll see what she wants in exchange. What is everybody's obsession with catfish? I'm sure she'll try to extort you. So let me know what she says. Thank you kindly. Okay. Ooh, big mess. Yeah. Yeah. Found a clue in Merlin's library. What did we find? What is that? Mysterious claw. You found this claw in Merlin's library. This must be a clue you need to finally solve the mystery of the sock bandit. Let's go find Donald. Bring the mysterious claw to Donald. Donald Duck, where are you? Falls on his face. There you go, I found a claw. Oh boy, look at that. That's proof. That piece of claw had to come from a space alien. Do you still have that strange device? You bet, and it's beeping a lot. I'm gonna put the claw piece in it and see what happens. Quack! What's it doing? It's all lit up. The screen says DNA match authorization 100% complete. Please place beacon to initiate landing protocol. Keep, keep clear for your own safety. What does that mean? I think it means this thing is some kind of homing beacon. We need to put this down somewhere and then the space, then the alien spaceship will land. <laughs> And then we can catch the sock stealing space alien. Smart thinking, Luna. Now, no one will doubt me the next time I see something suspicious going on around here. We'll still doubt you. You're just full of lies. <laughs> Let's put it down on Skull Rock off of Dazzle Beach just to be safe. We're gonna get stitch. I think we're gonna get stitch. We might get stitch. Boop. Oh. Dead. She's dead. Oi, oi, dead. Oi, Ike Baka Chuka. Dead. Ugh, did you make Stitch, Stitch's ship crash? Yes, that was me. I didn't mean for that to happen. 
We just wanted to stop you from stealing socks. I didn't mean for that oh. to happen. Oh. Babo, Lupig. My ship is broken. Your fault. I think your ship was malfunctioning even before it crashed. It looked like you were having some trouble steering it. Yeah. Maga Utinum. He's good. Thank you. Talk to Donald. Donald. I saw that blue alien hop out of his spaceship. I remember him from before the forgetting. His name is Stitch, and he loves to cause trouble. But I think the forgotten made him even more trouble than before. Do you know what this means, Donald? You were right all along. There was a space alien stealing everybody's socks. I knew it, and nobody believed me. And I was the only one who had it figured out. Now you can brag to everyone. I think we have more important things to worry about. Don't let it go to your head. Ah, uh, don't worry, Luna. You know me. I'm very humble. Blech. No, you're not. Good. Then you won't be too busy bragging to help me... To help me with Stitch. Yeah. Uh, I guess you're right. But we can't have Stitch running around the village destroying stuff. We gotta catch him. But how? Well, his spaceship got destroyed. I guess that was his only place to live. He seems pretty mad about it. Maybe we can start by asking your Uncle Scrooge to make a home for him. That's a good idea. That way Stitch can wreck his own house instead of mine. Oh, we didn't even go into Ur uh, Ariel's house. Play Stitch's house in Dreamlight Valley. Um, okay. Let's put that down too. Oh my gosh, his house is so cute. Right? Oh, Why is he sunken into the ground? Run. It's quicksand! Luna, that wee blue lad is running amok all over the village valley. Isn't he a mite destructive? Uh, no, all that property damage. Ugh, my wallet aches just thinking about it. We ought to make him his own place that he can wreck as much as he likes. 10,000. Damn. <laughs> A house for Stitch to wreck so he doesn't wreck the, the valley. Splendid idea. Glad I thought of it. <laughs> now, didn't I worry? I'll have this done in a trace. It's urgent, after all. Yay, we have Stitch! And his house is so cute! Find Stitch and tell him about his new house. Oh, I'm gonna go into his house. Oh, it's so cute. No, I love it. Now we're Stitch. Stitchy boy. Aloha. You again. Bubba yeah. Boo Goo. <laughs> I wanted to apologize. I built. A little something. You need to stop messing with other villages. I built you a little something. Huh? You built something for Stitch? Is it a new spaceship? It's something a little more permanent. A special place for you in the village. Whoa. Special place? Oh. Special place like home? Exactly. Oh, Stitch Whoa. wants to have a home. I'm Luna. You probably don't remember this place because of oh. the forgetting. Oh. Get get dark and bad night thorns grow. Oh. Stitch go to ship to help to get help for everyone. Oh. But I need fuel, mm. so I come back, find things to put in ship, on sh so ship go faster. What sort of things did you put into your ship? Lots of stuff, socks, books, oh. night thorns. You try to use night thorns as fuel? Did it work? No wonder the navigation was messed up. I'm surprised you didn't crash sooner. Almost crashed a lot. And then night thorns make my head not good. So I got lost. Well, you're not lost anymore, Stitch. Luna, Akapuka. 
Are you my friend? We're all friends here. Welcome back to Dreamlight Valley. Just promise you'll give back all the socks you took, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, promise. Ooh. 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 Okay, but I need this. <laughs> I can't wait to unlock his little... Oh, a little mermaid. His little uh, costume in the dream snap or dream star path. Star path. Let's go check out Ariel's house. And then I want to go unlock Elsa. Oh, she's got all the little knickknacks. <laughs> Ooh, her house is so cute. Nice. Kind of looks a lot like uh, Ursula's. Okay, let's go up to the Dream Castle. So let's see, we still have Wally. How much is his door? 3,000. We have Lion King, Frozen, and Toy Story. Seven, four, and 10, ding. Um, let's get them. Well, hello. On the other side of this door, you'll find a land forged in meadows, as well as a very powerful woman with the ability to control ice and snow. Use your dream light to open the way. <laughs> we could probably do two doors. Bravo, you've opened the frozen realm. Explore the frozen realm. Let's go in. Elsa! Anna! Oh, Anna! Um, actually guys, I think I'm gonna have to call it here. <laughs> we'll come back to this next time. And we'll get Elsa and Anna in our town. But yeah, uh, I'm going to call it here. So thank you so much for watching me play Dreamlight Valley. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notifications to watch me play more. And I'll play with you again soon. Bye!